Hey guys, so I'm gonna give you my review of a new movie coming out August 21st. It's called Tesla. This is a new kind of biopic and I have very mixed feelings about it. So let's talk about it. Hey, Tessa from Mama's Geeky here. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. All right, guys, so I don't want to give any spoilers, but Tesla is a movie that is coming out, like I said, uh, uh, August 21st, so next Friday. Uh, it's going to be available for streaming. I believe it's also going to select theaters. Now, it stars Ethan Hawke as Nikola Tesla, uh, and I do love me some Ethan Hawke. But this is so weird. And here's the thing. It gets dark, which I love dark. If you guys know me, I'm all about the dark and the gritty. And I'm not saying Tesla is a bad movie because it's it's not bad. I put it middle of the road. It's I think honestly part of the problem is I very recently watched The Current War. And I'm sorry, but Nicholas Holt was a fantastic, absolutely perfect Tesla. So I think coming into this, uh, it was very hard for me to separate the two. This one also gets really weird. Uh, there's a spot, it's almost the last scene. It's not the last scene, but it's very close. That was just very awkward and weird and it felt like it didn't fit. And I was almost uncomfortable watching it. Like I was like, I don't wanna watch this, this is very weird. It was, it was awkward and it was a little too far for me. Um, and so there was a lot of misses, but there was also a lot of hits in this too. Uh, it's interesting. It's, it's kind of funny. Um, it stars also Kyle MacLachlan, who I've interviewed before for Inside Out. I adore him. He's amazing. It also stars Jim Gaffigan. So there's a lot of great people in it. It was just really weird. Like it went down a weird road. It's, it's not a normal biopic, uh, at all. And, and it's, it's creative. Some scenes are just absolutely beautiful and, and even the darkness is great and I really enjoyed watching it. Um, and I'm, I love Nikola Tesla. So little background, my husband is into, uh, he, he works in nuclear power uh, and energy and all that. So, so it's a big deal in our house. So of course, uh, we've also watched Radioactive recently, which is about uh, Marie Curry. But now we also watched The Current War recently, like I said. And uh, so Tesla is... It's a very middle of the road. I, I think some people will love it. Uh, others will feel like this was awkward and what did I just watch? And like I said, it's not that it's a bad movie. It's not. I mean, it's a three out of five for me. So it's not horrible. Will I watch it again? Probably not. Um, my husband did not watch the screener with me and uh, he's nervous to watch it because Tesla is like one of his idols. I mean, he has two Tesla statues in his office okay so he loves tesla so we're kind of he's not sure he wants to watch it um if he wants to i would watch it again with him if he decides to watch it but for me it was just um it was okay i mean yes we get a lot of true facts but then there's just some really weird there's no other way to describe it besides weird awkward moments especially towards the end it's like tesla's singing like karaoke kind of and it's just it's very awkward it felt like it had nothing to do with the rest of the movie it was very strange and like I said, almost uncomfortable to watch. Um, I think, honestly, I really think my main issue with this is is that Nicholas Holt played such a fantastic Tesla that Ethan Hawke couldn't even, couldn't even touch him, in my opinion. If you have seen it, uh, let me know what you think down below or are you looking forward to this movie? Let me know down below. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on stuff like this. You can also follow me over on Instagram and Twitter. I'm at Mama's Geeky over there, M-A-M-A-S-G-E-E-K-Y. But yeah, I give this, yeah, three out of five. I mean, it's all right in, this, in these days when we need new entertainment and we're begging for new entertainment sure watch it it's worth a watch I guess but just know that there is a lot of it that fails even though some of it is pretty good